this bad boy is somewhere around 60,000 euros. Okay, so you can get 10 of these for one of those. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I rest my case. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Today, we're going to take a closer look of two very exciting watches. Before we get started, I'm Karar, and I'm sitting here with... Alex. Lovely. All right. Alex. Yes. Let's deep dive. Yes. So, we have two very, very interesting pieces. First of all, we have the Automa PGA Royal Oak 15500, and the skeletonized Zenit Defy. Yes. This is going to be an interesting comparison. The AP Slayer. Is it the AP Slayer? We'll see. Is that the verdict? We'll see. <laughs> so let's take a closer look of the uh, Zenit first. All right. So the Zenit Defy uh, introduced back in 2018 mm -hmm. uh, as the new Zenit sports watch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it comes in a range of different models. Yep. We have a skeletonized version, as we have with us today, uh, in titanium, as this one. It's also available in black, white, and blue ceramic. Yeah. Okay. Then we have the normal version of the Zenit D5, which has a blue dial, uh, more similar to the AP. And uh, then we also have a couple of chronograph version, carbon versions, yeah. stuff like that. So many different models. Uh, in the DeFi series. Absolutely. I really love the DeFi series, especially the skeletonized version yeah. that we're looking at here. First of all, um, just to reiterate, uh, this is in titanium, so this weighs feathers. This yeah. is super light in comparison uh, to the AP that we're gonna come to. Uh, and if you look at this dial, this is what dreams are made of. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a fan of skeleton dials. Yeah. I usually have problems with the legibility of the dials, uh, but they have done a good job here. So it's fairly easy to read the time yes. on this one. Uh, and it looks really cool. It's a, it's a really cool looking piece. It's super cool. Actually, if you take a close look at the dial, if you see here, it looks like car rims. Super cool car oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Now, to give you some basic information about this Zenit D5 skeleton, uh, as you said, titanium case and bracelet, which is really nicely finished, uh, brushed and polished. Yep. Shines really nice in the light, just like the, should, you, should we call it the big brother? The big boy. <laughs> the, the big boy. Yeah. Uh, and, um, 41 millimeter case, so case size between uh, in the Zenit and the AP is the same in diameter, although yeah. they wear very differently. Very, very differently. Um, I think the Zenit has a lug to lug around 46 millimeter, yeah. whilst the AP has around 50 or 51 millimeter, so it's five, six millimeters in difference, which is pretty chunky. Yeah, pretty, yeah Absolutely. quite substantial uh, difference on the wrist. And I mean, the Zenit. Yeah. I really like this one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So before we go over to the AP, let's just say a quick thank you to our sponsor, Chronext. Chronext is a watch platform offering watches from brands like Zenith, like Audemars Piguet, like Rolex, Patek Philippe, whatever you want, they have it. Also, make sure to check out their Black Friday deals. And don't forget to enter the code IFLW special for some extra, extra discount at the checkout. We leave the link in the description below. Thank you, Chronix. Thank you, Chronix. All right. So if you're looking at the AP now, mm -hmm. here is the big differences, right? So both of these want to have an integrated bracelet, right? Yes, correct. So, but this bracelet, the integration of the Royal Oak bracelet. Can you do it any better? Probably not. I mean, there is a reason why this one is considered the grandfather of all integrated watches uh, or in watches with integrated bracelet. Absolutely. Uh, and it's it's beautiful. I mean, of course, it's hard to compete with the AP. Yes. Um, 
but I think the Zenit does a pretty good job. How do you like the 15500? I don't like it at all. You don't? No, I didn't like the 15400 either. Um, really? It's too big. Okay. It's this proportion. Yeah. If you if you look at the uh, OG Jumbo, yeah, the 5402. Yeah. It's it's how it should be, okay? Yeah. And that watch is already uh, pretty oversized. Yeah. All right. So when you take a already oversized uh, watch and buff it up extra, it doesn't really work for me. Um, and I mean, previously the 15300, that was the predecessor of the 15400, was also uh, 39 millimeters, but already there they had started to make it a bit more chunky, stuff like that. The bracelet is much thicker. Yeah. Which, I mean, an AP for me, a Royal Oak should be uh, slim. Yeah. And have a slim bracelet and just almost feel like a bracelet on, on the wrist. Absolutely. Uh, and I don't get that feeling with the current APs. Okay. That's the verdict. Yeah. That's the verdict. I've always been a hater of the 41 millimeter APs. I kind of agree with you, right? I mean, this watch, personally, I actually owned the 41 millimeter for quite some time. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I also owned the 37 millimeter. I like that one a lot better, but I think the dream size was for me somewhere around 39 millimeter, the jumbo. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't just simply justify the price tag for yeah. the 39 millimeter back then. Nowadays, you definitely cannot justify the price yeah. tag for the jumbo. I mean, what you can't justify the price tag for this one either. Right now? Or? No, no. I mean, so, this is why I think this comparison is slightly interesting because we have two watches from far, kind of look alike, mm -hmm. but let's take a closer look at the differences. If we start with the bracelet, right? Yeah. So if you look at the AP bracelet, hand finished, extremely, extremely well done. Nothing is left to chance. <laughs> and uh, it's just a solid block of bracelet. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Um, this is high end, high end. What do you think about the Z bracelet? I mean, when you compare them side by side, we have a, a three-piece construction on this one. Yeah. Um, or two-piece actually. Uh, however, it's a bit more flimsy. Yeah. When you when you feel it like this in your, your hand. Yeah. I mean, you don't get. It's also maybe a bit because of the titanium, such so, such more. Feels lighter. a bit lighter. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I mean, finish-wise. Um, I like the Zenit bracelet. I don't yeah. think it's so much worse compared to the to the AP. Do you think the AP bracelet is ten times better than the Zenit bracelet? Because uh, that's the price tag difference. Ten times. It's not only in the bracelet, though. But... I know. <laughs> I know. No, I don't think so personally, and that's why I think this Zenit yeah. um, offers so much bang for the buck. Yeah. Considered to other sports watches with blue dials or whatever with integrated uh, bracelet and you know this funky 70s case design yeah and um, but the zenit for the price tag it's very well finished absolutely and uh, i mean you get a skeletonized dial yes that's also very nice finish yeah uh, and you get an open case back with a movement that's also very nice finish in-house movement in-house movement uh, like the ap uh, so i mean to justify this is eight thousand US dollars in retail. Uh, yeah, retail price is somewhere eight nine. Yeah. Um, currently, you can get this one on Chronix for six thousand six hundred uh, euros. Or I mean, okay, and this one? Uh, well, this bad boy is somewhere around sixty thousand euros. Okay, so you can get ten of these for one of those. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also in terms of wearability on the wrist, you need to have a bigger wrist so that the AP will fit. Yeah. Since we have these, uh, the angle on the end links or on in the case, yeah, it, it tends to uh, stick out from from the wrist. So it looks you get not the nice. It's supposed to hug it. Yeah, but it's just sticking out like fucking razor blades. You know, it doesn't look good. And sorry guys for you that have tiny wrists. Uh, it doesn't look good when you wear the AP. Yeah. 
Um, I'd much rather consider buying a 36 millimeter or even a 33 millimeter version of the AP. Uh, you go vintage instead. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, I really love the 37 millimeter, but they make it for. I mean, it's their women's size. And they changed that. It's unisex now. It's unisex now. Yeah, it yeah. It was introduced as the women's size. But yeah. Just a uh, quick, the 37 millimeter. Uh, share the same problem in my opinion is the case proportions okay. it's a bit chubby yeah it's a bit chubby it's a bit thick and a bit chubby on you know the width it doesn't have the same proportions as the, as the 15202 or the 5402 yeah and that's what kills it for me uh, for the AP fully understand and also if you look at these two if you look at the case thickness here as well yeah the Zenith is um, much more wearable, so to speak, at 9.5 millimeter approximately. Mm. While we have the AP also still very impressive, but 10.5 millimeters uh, with the AP. So the, there's a slight difference in thickness there as well. Yeah, um, but the, the Zenit almost feels a little bit more chubby on the wrist because the lug to lug length is substantially uh, smaller. Sh shorter, shorter, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you get some, you lose some, right? Of course. That's of the course. that's the balance, um, balance of everything. Indeed. So, so Alex, yes, a Zenith and AP, ten times the price tag. Well, we should obviously mention that the Royal Oak. For those of you that do not know, if you're able to buy this at an official Armor PGA store, which is quite frankly impossible. But if you are able to pull the trigger there, you will be set back approximately twenty three thousand us dollars mm. you could right off the bat get 65 70 thousand us dollars for the blue version blue dive version of the 15 500 so this is actually priced three times its current retail price which is nuts and madness and this increase we've seen most recently in the past six months to a year it's been really sorry they were always almost always at a premium yeah. um, but the premium was maybe 20%, 30% above retail, 40% above retail and then something happened in the past year uh, since the pandemic um, something really happened and the AP Royal Oaks just got out of hand for the normal guy. I mean yeah. this piece from 23 up to almost 70,000 US dollars. I don't even know what to say for a disproportion the oversized steel watch <laughs> oh you're loving it yeah, yeah. no I, it's it's sad to see <laughs> yeah yeah i fully understand that uh, no. and then here you have actually a piece that isn't really talked about that much which i think is a shame because this is a gorgeous watch and for yeah. the price tag we're talking retail price approximately eight thousand you can actually get them around 6.6 .6 right now on chronix this is an amazing purchase. I agree, I agree. And you have so many different versions. If you don't like the titanium with the skeletonized dial, yeah. go for the blue dial. They also have, um, I believe, it's the Defy El Primero that you have, uh, the updated version that you have in chronograph as well, mm. that you have with one hundredth of a second uh, chronograph, which yeah. is super fun to play ar around with. So the second hand just basically goes just ticks like this it's super yeah they're crisp. zenith they are doing a great job right now and Absolutely. releasing a lot of really cool watches with cool features great finish also uh, pretty uh, afford affordable in some sense considering yeah. what you get i yeah. mean uh, so i mean just to give you an idea you can get a gold zenith with factory set sapphires and diamonds mm -hmm. you remember the rainbow we saw oh yeah 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 you can get a rainbow zenith factory set for less than this ap nope. <laughs> yeah. that's pretty crazy um, i don't know what to say <laughs> no but seriously guys if you're considering you know if you want an ap uh, but can't afford this ridiculous market price tag which makes sense uh you should definitely check out the Zenit. Uh, I definitely agree. I think this one give is it a really try, a contender. Try it on on the wrist, uh, see how it look feels. Um, it's a lot of bang for the buck. Absolutely, absolutely. So big thumbs up to Zenit with what they've done. The price tag, the entry level price tag, I believe, is uh, pretty 
great yeah. for these pieces. Yeah. Um, slight thumbs down for the for the for the market. This is heading for the herd mentality. Herd mentality of the yeah. AP. It's become a. It's become like Bitcoin. It's a, it's a, it's property. It's not yeah. a wristwatch anymore. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. We hope uh, you enjoyed our chit chat. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Thank you, guys. See you.